my goal in this video is to share with you some tips on how to improve your saving. As we all work towards you know, financial stability in our lives, one of the things that we we'll always come across is how can we speed up the savings process? You know, how can we make sure that we are saving the right amount and we are also working consistently to build on our finances? There are so many ways to do this, but the one that is crucial is to earn enough money. Remember, your basics need to be met. If you do not have the money to provide shelter for yourself, food and clothing, I feel like you know the rest is just useless. You know, um, it's important that we work on the basic necessities of our lives, and then we can work on savings. Yeah, one of the things we can also do to improve our savings rate is to make sure that every month we have set aside a certain amount that is specifically transferred from our checking account into our savings account. It's very important this is done automatically so that we don't have to be responsible for doing it by ourselves. My next point is about investing, all right? See, the purpose of saving is not necessarily to just have the money sitting in an account. The goal is to actually be able to increase your net worth or increase the amount you have and that's why it's very important that we invest regularly also just like how you have to automatically transfer your money from a savings account to or from a checking account to a savings account you want to make sure that you're automatically investing a certain amount every month or every week depending on what you what is uh, affordable for you this is a very important point because if this is not done automatically as well there will be times when the market is high, there will be times when the market is low, and this will always mess up with our emotions and our ability to reason as a long-term investor, which is what I would always encourage everyone to do. I mean, a lot of people always try to day trade and swing trade. Those are options as well if you know what you're doing, but you have to spend more time monitoring each investment, which I feel is too much work for an average person that has a regular job to do. Have multiple accounts all right there's something about having multiple accounts that gives us the impression that we always need to save money when I open an account I don't want to see the account at zero you know I want to make sure that I'm consistently putting some money into even if it's $20 $50 $100 $200 you know whatever amount you can afford I do that intentionally so that I can actually see that account grow the next tip I have is to make sure that you have paycheck deductions from your account all right, it's very important that we don't even see the money. Like, don't let it even get into your checking account. And that means that you don't even get to touch it, it doesn't get in your account, and it's automatically transferred into your savings account. This point, I feel, is the most important one, and that the point is to make sure that we have a goal set that we're working towards. You see, you can have all the money in the world, but if there's no purpose for it, it's meaningless, it's useless. So the point is, make sure you set a goal for that amount that you're working towards. If you have a goal, a certain amount set as a goal, you're able to work towards it and you're constantly staying motivated to save. Say hi. If you like the video, kindly subscribe, hit the like button and come back for more.